All right, class, here we go. We are going to do our drawing um, of the cedar wax wing. And I've got some pictures of him and I have also got our cute little birdie for the week. And I don't even know, I should have checked to see. Oh, I see it. Who's the cedar wax wing? Evie, this is your bird. Here it is. I'm gonna pretend to be Evie. Cedar wax wing. My tail looks like it's been dipped in yellow paint. Very cool. Did you like my, my impression of Evie? Okay, so I'm gonna show you some pictures really quickly of the cedar wax wing so that you can see the colors of the cedar wax wing. Here he is. Look at the kind of feathers that he's got. They are so smooth and so soft looking. They don't puff up kind of like some of the other birds. I want you to notice that he's got this little part right here called a crest. And it's like a little part of his head that goes up. He has a black mask over his eyes. His beak is kind of black, but it's got a little bit of white on it, like a stripe of white. What color are his feet? Can you see his feet? They are black as well. And then he's got lots of fun colors on him. His tummy has got some yellow. He's got some kind of like the color of caramel, like um, kind of tan. And then his two wings split right there and it goes into his tail. And there's where it looks like his little tail got dipped in yellow paint. On his wings, he's got red on the very end. He's got a couple little white stripes. I just think this little guy is gorgeous. Here is another set of pictures. Um, let me ask you this question. What do you think that cedar wax wings eat? Based on this picture, what do you see? What's their favorite thing? Berries. Not Mrs. Berry, but regular, actual berries. And do you know why they're called cedar wax wings? It's because the kind of berries that they like the most are called cedar berries. Doesn't that work out pretty well? So you can see them being so excited about these berries that they found. Um, and I just think the color looks so neat with the red berries against the beautiful color of the birds. Okay, now time to move on. I want you to get out your bird book right here. And I want you to turn it to this page right here, Cedar Waxwing. Okay, now remember, as we're drawing this, the beauty of doing a video of the Cedar Waxwing drawing is that if you mess up, don't worry about it. You can pause the video and you can erase it. So that's gonna work out pretty good for you. Now, this is the picture that we're doing, the drawing that we're doing. You can picture it up here. His little beak's gonna be up here, the crest. You gotta make sure you have enough room. His little fat body, his tail's gonna go down and then he's gonna be on this little, it's not even a branch, it's a twig, do you see? A twig is like a really skinny branch, okay? We're gonna start up on the top, doing the little crest on his head. And let's get going. I want you to make sure that you've got your pencil. Try to pay attention to your pencil grip. Remember our pencil grip song? I won't do it right now, but maybe I'll do it on another video just for funsies, okay? Gonna start right up here, and I'm gonna start with his beak. And it's gonna curve up just so slightly, and then we're gonna have it go straight up for the crest. Are you ready? Go for it, your turn. All right, now we're gonna do the middle part of his beak. It's gonna be a straight line back and I'll tell you how far to go. We're gonna make it go right about to here and it's just a straight line back. Okay, your turn. That's not too bad, right? Okay, now we're gonna do the bottom part of the beak. It's gonna go down just a little bit and not all the way back to this part because most of the birds, you know how they end up having a kind of like an angle line right here where it closes up their face. This is gonna go straight down and then stop right about there. Okay, now I'm gonna come back up here and close this up, but at this part's gonna be a little bit ziggy zaggy, okay? Did you see how I didn't do a totally straight line there? 
You'll be able to tell what this is really soon. Okay, coming from right here where the beak meets the crest, like his forehead, we're going to make his black mask. Okay, so we're gonna start at the top of the, the part of the beak where the beak meets the head. We're gonna come down and then back up and stop up here. I'll show you where, ready? And this is not a straight solid line. This is kind of like a, a ziggy zaggy soft looking. See how I'm kind of making it wiggly just a little bit. It's gonna come down, we're gonna leave room for the eye. And then we're gonna go up just a little bit, curve up. And then I want us to stop right there. Is that about right? I hope it's about right. I'll wait for you. Okay, now I'm gonna give him a black eye right here touching the bottom of that, the bottom of the circle, the bottom of the dot, touching that line. Are you trusting me that this is gonna work out? It's gonna look good. Okay, after you get that black dot, we're gonna complete his mask by doing a curved line that's gonna touch the top of his eye and come up and connect right here. So this is another soft looking line touching the top of his eye and then coming up to complete it. And this part right here, it's gonna be kind of funny because his eye is gonna be black, but this mask on him is also black. Go ahead and finish it up. Okay, now we're gonna finish up that crest and connect it. I might pull it back over even a little bit more so that I can do this kind of thing right to here. Kind of makes it look feathery and I probably didn't even go back quite enough. All right, now we're gonna do his neck. It's gonna curve back just a little bit and then we're gonna give him his soft little fat tummy that's gonna come down to where his feet are, okay? So curve back just a little bit and then down and then around all the way back down to about there that part looks kind of funny doesn't it you get the idea <clears throat> does he have a cute little tummy just want to hold him okay now the back of his head going to be this part right here. Just kind of a, a soft curved line from the end of his mask, okay? And it's going to look like this. All right, and then we're going to come back down around and we're going to do, it's kind of like the side of him a little bit and where the wing is going to be, okay? So curve up just a little bit come down and stop, I would say right about there. Starting to look a little bit like our um, cedar wax wing now. Nice job. Okay, now we're gonna do his little shoulder right here, coming around and then pull it back. We're gonna make sure that we have room for two wings. We're gonna have one wing that's kind of like, you can only see part of it right here, and then you'll see pretty much all of this side of the wing. So, watch how I do it. I'm kind of gonna do like a little fluffy area for where he, the shoulder part's gonna be, but then it's gonna smooth out as we come down and I go around. It's not gonna all the way touch down here, so don't do that. Come down and it's gonna stop, I would say, way down here. It's gonna curve up just a little bit. Maybe I might even go farther than that. I think I should go farther than that. Your turn.
Got that? Okay, now I'm going to come on this side to complete the other part of the wing, on the, uh, the other wing, I should say, so that we know how much space we've got to finish up this left wing. So here's the way that I'm going to do it. I'm going to come down from kind of the middle. I, I wiped that off on accident. Isn't that funny? So I'm going to just go down and then connect it. But then I'm going to do some sweet little kind of long curves that you makes you tell that there's some feathers there. I can't wait to see these. Okay, so now coming back to this wing that's on this side, we're going to do this, okay? Prepare yourselves. This part's a little funky, okay? So we're going to, how shall I do it? We're going to curve up like so and then stop right there your turn then we're gonna do come down from right here and then come back up like that And then right here, we're gonna do a few little extra little bumps. That's gonna be the little red tip. Let's make sure that we have a little red tip on this side too. Those parts will be red. All right, now we're gonna make sure that this part looks like it's got feathers. So we're gonna do just some little extra lines and curve back up. Line down, curve back up. Real simple. Getting all these pieces put together was the complicated part. All right, now we're gonna to get to the tail. His tail is going to be straight across, as you can see. We're gonna come down from the wing, ziggy, zuggy, ziggy, zuggy, and then come back up and touch the wing, the other wing, I should say. So it's gonna be kind of a straight line down. Straight line down, pretty far. Give him a good little tail, ziggy zaggy ziggy zaggy ziggy zaggy, and then back up and touch where that red is going to be on that side. Your turn. Nice job. Okay, then we're going to do the little line, kind of a ziggy zaggy line right here so that we can tell where the yellow part is at the bottom. This part right here will be yellow. Okay, then we're just gonna do a few little lines like this. Line, line. Then in the middle, we're gonna do a little V line, 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 line. Make it look a little bit more like feathers. And then the same thing at the bottom. Line, line, line. A V, line, line, line. I really wish that I could see you doing this. Okay, now we're gonna complete his little body right here. It's a little fluffier right here. Right where his tummy is gonna stop, we're gonna do a little bit of fluff and then curve it down and close it up. Then we're gonna do his feet. Okay. His little feet are going to be wrapped around a skinny little twig. So you've got one little leg, two little legs, super skinny, and you're, it's going to kind of hard, be hard to see what the feet are doing. So we're just going to make them look like they're wrapped around on both sides. Okay, just some curved lines that makes it look like the feet are pinching, uh, holding on to the little tiny twig. Okay. Then we can draw that little tiny twig. It might go like this and then tilt down. It's just a little bitty guy. It's kind of hard to make it look like it's supposed to. And then we're gonna make that twig come out skinny, skinny on the other side. And then if you wanna make some leaves coming off of it. You like my leaf? I 
I have no idea what kind of leaf that is. <laughs> Maybe we're going to call it a cedar tree because that way we know that his little berries will be on there. Okay, a couple of little finishing touches, okay? I'm going to put a little bit more fluff right here on the side of his wing so that we can just kind of tell that it's ending right there. Got that? A little bit of wing fluff. And then now, right here on his neck, I'm going to make another little curved down line from where his beak is. Curve down. And then from there, do some little fluffy feathers so that you can tell where his neck is. Right there. You can see on here, just kind of an extra little line. And when you color it, what you would do is maybe do black right here, kind of tan up here on his crest. If you made his crest go back a little bit, that's, see how it is on this one? But they go up and down, they move. So then I would do black up here on the top of his beak and a little white, just make a, leave a little bit of white right there, just a little stripe, okay? On his wing, you would do a little bit of white, a little bit of white, and then it kind of goes gray. Then you've got your little spot for the red. Make sure you've got some grayish tan right there. And then what color is that? Really important. Yellow, okay? Nice job. What color is his tummy? Yellow. Kind of a light yellow. Nothing, nothing too dark. All right. What do you think of our cute little cedar wax wing? I hope you had a fantastic time and I hope you worked really hard on it. Um, if you messed up, no big deal. Remember that we just like to leave them. You can fix it a little bit, but enjoy your work and be proud of it. And I'm proud of you too.